Hi all, I have another brilliant game of Mikhail Tal to show you from 1956. This was actually a blitz game. So Mikhail Tal's opponent was Zanish Zusta. So this is a Polish name, so excuse the pronunciation, but it's here if you want to see how it's spelled. Okay, so 1956, uh, D4 from Zanish and we have a king's engine defense and now we have the Simish variation f3 so white usually plays bishop e3 queen d2 maybe trying to exchange off this bishop later Tal is not worried he castles bishop e3 now plays e5 white now plays knight g e2 an alternative was d5 there we have c6 Queen b3, and it seems White's intention is actually to try and potentially castle queenside. Tell takes on d4 here, knight takes d4, and plays in a very aggressive manner in this position. While the king's still in the center, note it can slip to the queenside with just one move. Nevertheless, Tell tries to open up things with d5. We have now c takes d5 white could actually castle queenside technically in this position because c5 is not winning a piece a piece with d4 for example knight d e2 d4 it's pinned to the queen here so this position though would still be okay for black blacks maybe slightly better with plans of soon b5 but anyway white actually instead of castling queenside plays c takes d5 and we have c takes d5 e takes d5 and now a bit of a shocking move but remember this is blitz so tau can afford to be maybe a little bit more unsound as than than the longer game time limits and he plays actually a rather he plays a rather spectacular move can you guess what tau plays in this position and I must warn you, it's not the soundest move, theoretically. But, uh, you know, moves are within context. This is a context of blitz chess, and it's, it's a bit of a shocker. So if I give you five seconds, try and guess Tao's move. So five seconds to pause the video, starting from now. Okay, he plays knight c6. Yeah, he's trying to put pressure on white's pieces and the DNE files rapidly. White takes this, and this might actually be one of the absolute best moves in the position to take this. Now Tal plays rook e8. And if the opponent was a computer and, and finding the best move even in blitz, the opponent should really castle here because he's got c takes b7. So if takes here, c takes b7 is winning a piece. Uh, but it's a blitz game, you know, anything could happen later. Maybe that b file is slightly dangerous for White's king. Possibly White was a bit frightened of this position in some respects. It's not entirely, uh, you know, uh, clear cut and easy, this sort of position. Uh, so we have here, uh, but that would have been technically the best course. Instead, after rookie eight, White plays king f2 now fireworks really start and this really you know makes the game very very interesting it's in many players uh, collections actually at chess games it's it's a brilliant blitz game really what does black play here if i give you five seconds starting from now so black to play okay rook takes e3 trying to draw that king out and the dark squares in particular have this beast on g7 which can tap into them potentially white plays rook d1 here if he does play king takes e3 this should be uh more than okay for black after knight g4 and that g7 bishop is revealed so this position is good for black not not winning immediately or anything it's just good for black this position here so 
after rook takes e3 uh, king takes e3 is actually uh, a critical test but uh, rook rook d1 was played instead and this is actually less good this this is actually uh, now amazingly good technically for black as well this position here can you see what black plays in this position if I give you five seconds to pause the video starting from now okay knight g4 check is played so yeah if the king goes back there's bishop takes d4 so we have here f takes g4 but in fact then you might think um bishop takes d4 but let's just for a moment actually just check out there's even a much more uh, stronger move even than bishop takes d4 in this position which which actually spells out a forced uh checkmate so for the technically minded what would you play in this position there's actually a forced mate here in five or six <laughs> believe it or not black to play there's a great move here tactically to check out okay it's rook d3 it opens up this diagonal for the lethal check it deflects if for example g3 then taking check check and mate e everything mates after rook d3 in this line everything uh, <clears throat> so if we have instead um, other moves instead of uh, g3 it's, say bishop takes we have check and mate on f2 or rook takes we have bishop takes d4 check and then we're mating on that diagonal uh, so yeah it's it's all pretty crushing actually after rook d3 in that line so the king uh, doesn't really want to step back yeah rook g3 is a is an absolute murderous move so we have f takes g4 and the game continues now bishop takes d4 with lethal discovered checks being threatened for example rook takes c3 which would win the queen after so white takes on d4 queen takes and now attacks black's queen and note also this c takes b7 is, is there as well so that's problematic this position is is black just hanging everything in this position because isn't white just going to end up better here on queen takes Tao doesn't have to play though queen takes queen he has a few good options here and there's one in particular which is amazing it's crushing it's absolutely crushing black to play here if i give you five seconds starting from now okay we have a double check from the rook and queen this double check is very very dangerous as you might expect if king g3 then queen f2 looks like it's approaching checkmate but in fact there's just queen takes g4 checkmate so no the king can't go to g3 queen g4 checkmate in one so the king hasn't got that many options in fact so we have king takes e2 and now we have bishop takes g4 check and notice this crossfire of the bishop and queen along the light and dark squares there aren't too many move choices here unless the white queen wants to go in front so we have king e1 so this beautiful crossfire and queen and bishop now and the rook joins the party with rook e8 bishop e2 and now the final crushing blow can you spot it black to play i give you five seconds here starting from now okay rook takes e2 absolutely devastating if the king moves there's queen f2 checkmate if the knight takes well white actually resigned here but if he did take then we just take the queen we're massively material up yeah it's a dramatic game and it's made a vivid impression on many many people who have seen this game and it's, it's actually just a blitz game actually believe it or not 1956 a blitz game 
So I hope you enjoyed this one. Really aggressive, daring stuff. You know, Tal is even more daring in Blitz with his sacrifices, more, you know, optimistic. But, uh, you know, he, he can uh, pile on loads of pressure in any, any game context to get to the king spectacularly. Comments or questions and likes? Much appreciated. Thanks very much.